Hey everyone, my name is Vea and I'm here planning my own magic into my everyday life. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today. So this video is going to be a combination of a review and a tour plus organization tips. Mainly because when we were shopping for refrigerators, I was looking for videos that kind of showed me how to use a French door with freezer drawer type of refrigerator, like how to organize your food, how to store your food, where are the best spots for you to put all your different groceries and things like that. And I honestly couldn't really find any. I found review videos and, you know, refrigerator stocking and organizing videos that were way too aesthetic for me. I know that everybody, you know, has their preferences, but for me, I wanted to make a video that I was kind of looking for when I was shopping for refrigerators. So hopefully this is it. So while I share the specs with you, I am gonna show you a little bit of a clean out that I did because again, this is real life. And I want you to know that this fridge does get jam packed with leftovers. It gets messy, it gets dirty, it gets disorganized, and it becomes a complete hot mess sometimes. Like that's just my real life. But I also love to organize and make things um, really functional by making sure they're clear and easy to use, not only for myself, but also for my family. I am the person who is in the kitchen the most as far as cooking, how I store things. So it's kind of like my kitchen, but I like for my family to be able to come in here on their own and do their own things without having to come and find me to figure out where I put those specific leftovers. Our son is in third grade and he is very self-sufficient when it comes to packing his lunches or getting his own snacks and things like that. So I like to be able to provide the space that's specific to him to where he can find what he needs. Same thing for my wife. She doesn't like to have to come and find me every time she wants to heat something up or you know put a snack together. Even though she can't cook to save her life, she wants to be able to find things that she needs without having to come get me or call me or whatever the case may be. So our fridge is the GE Cafe Energy Smart Refrigerator. It is a French door and freezer drawer refrigerator. It becomes a tongue tie because there's four door, French drawer, I get it all tangled up, but it is a French door, freezer drawer, refrigerator. And we did not choose counter depth um, as far as the sizing of our refrigerator. I know that when we were shopping, I had to specifically go and look at the refrigerators that were counter depth because I had no idea what that would look like in real life. And our home wasn't finished being built yet, so I also couldn't like see it in person other than the model which was counter depth. It just wasn't working for me. It's, I'm very visual, so I couldn't figure it out. We decided to go with traditional um, sizing as far as the counters. And honestly, it's great. It doesn't look very different. I will show you a video clip because trying to explain it is just, it's gonna have me all tongue tied. But the bottom line is I wanted all of my full capacity and space of my refrigerator. I host a lot of events. I like to store, you know, my food already prepped and things like that. So we went ahead and decided not to get the counter depth. When looking on the GE website or the cafe website, I didn't really see other options for um, the color and things like that. We have the platinum glass. We did not want the stainless steel. We wanted the stainless steel look, but not the actual stainless steel because of the fingerprints. And as you can see, it's very reflective because we have um, the platinum glass, which just means that over the stainless steel, there is a sheet of glass. And I was kind of scared of that at first because it's like glass, kids, you know, but it honestly, we have had zero issue with it and it's really, really pretty. It's super easy to clean. I literally just use um, the spray away glass cleaner and fingerprints, smudges, anything comes completely off in seconds. I don't have to use special stainless steel cleaners. I don't have to use anything other than like a window cleaning product, which I absolutely love. We do get fingerprints on this like column right here. There's like a little strip where you can see fingerprints, but that also cleans really easily. Especially to say that this is our handle. We do not have handles on the outside of our fridge. We only have the integrated pocket handle, which my wife was concerned about. She felt like we wouldn't be able to get a good grip, um, but it works completely fine. So no problems there. We do have the convertible drawer with the soft freeze feature, and I'll be showing you that a little bit later in the video. I'll show you what all of that looks like and how I use it the most. And I think the feature that I kind of forget about and take for granted the most in this refrigerator is the LED lighting, especially the LED backlight that the refrigerator has. It truly um, highlights everything in your refrigerator from the back so that you can see what you have versus a light coming down from the top. Um, nothing gets hidden behind anything else as long as you know you can see the back wall and honestly sometimes even when I can't see the back wall I can see there are shadows of containers and things in the back of my refrigerator um, and that just really helps with making sure nothing's kind of getting lost behind other things um, along with the way that I organize my fridge but that feature is just highly impressive to me and like I said I kind of forget that that 
that's what's helping me be able to see so clearly into my refrigerator and the design on the bag is just so so pretty this fridge does come with two types of drawers one is like a high humidity and one is a low humidity i do not use the drawers for produce because literally everything would go there to die because if i don't see it i won't use it that's just me so i don't use it however the feature is cool i think that you know if i were to truly test it out it would you know, live up to its name as far as the low humidity and high humidity to keep certain things fresher for longer. And as far as the freezer drawer goes, I do not use the freezer drawer um, for all of my groceries because I shop in bulk and I keep a deep freezer. We have an upright freezer in our garage and I've always had a deep freezer. So I've never really had to use my indoor freezer for um, the typical like full amount of groceries that, you know, one household may need to store. However, I need to let you know that I am a freezer hoarder. I use it from top to bottom to store, like I said, all those random things. And it fits so, so much. So if you're shopping around for refrigerators right now, I don't want the fact that I have an upright freezer Freezer to deter you from thinking that you'll have enough space in your freezer indoors because I think you absolutely will there's a ton of space and if you would like me to do a separate video on my freezer foods as far as my upright freezer as well as the indoor freezer just comment down below so I can put that video together for you now let's jump into some of the organization tips so one of the best ways that I get the most function out of this fridge is to make sure that I'm not wasting food. And I'm primarily doing that by keeping everything in my line of sight. So I adjust the shelves um, to make sure they're my eye level. And then I make sure that I can see everything that is there. I also try to do my best with keeping like items together in groups. Um, I choose like non-perishable or slow to perish items in the door and other ones like deep in the back of the fridge, like my cream and milk and stuff. And then also I'm just keeping all of those jarred like condiments and stuff all on the right side of my refrigerator. I will keep the more perishable ones like those salad dressings and the pesto towards the front as well as the salsa but then like pickles and capers and things like that will be more towards the back and that's just because they have a little bit of a longer shelf life. Also making use of dead space. That's why I chose this egg container and organizer specifically because it hooks onto the shelf. And even though that space between my top shelf and the middle one is kind of narrow, it's not like very tall at all, but I can fit like some surprisingly good things in there. Like this yogurt tub and the big tub of like sour cream. I can fit that right on that shelf and I can still see it. I can still use that shelf space, but it's not like wasting the dead space on that shelf. And I'm always very careful to make sure if I do put anything behind my egg container that it's not going to be an easily perishable item such as the cream cheese. It'll last a while in there and I can still see it because I know it's behind my eggs but it definitely is not taking up extra like valuable space in my refrigerator. Um, I show the dairy and stuff that I keep in the back and the almond milk because it's not dairy. I can keep that in the door which is actually easier for my son to grab and he's not like rearranging my entire refrigerator to get to when he needs it for cereal and stuff. On the left here is where I like to place leftovers and I know that's super corny that's why I'm giggling but literally everything that we need to reheat to eat or whatever the case may be take out leftovers meal prep leftovers it's on the left and not only is that easy for me to remember um, it's also easy for my family to remember if they're looking for something in particular um, this is why it's really important for me to have clear food storage containers so that I can see everything it's again in my line of sight and also I try to keep it out of the middle and over to the left so that I can see everything then when it comes to perishables that we might be grabbing very often, I also like to put those on the left so we don't forget about them. So that's like yogurt, produce. I do not put my produce in the drawer to die. I put it above that drawer so that I can actually see it. And then in this drawer right here is where I just kind of make designated little drawers for stuff. So this one is my wife's lunch packing drawer so that she can go to everything she needs to make her lunch, again, without rearranging my refrigerator. And then I just use the other drawer to the right for Miss miscellaneous stuff at first I was intimidated by these narrow shelves but they've been really perfect for condiments again easy to grab easy to get to for our kiddo and little snacks like cheese and stuff so if you have like condiment bottles and this type of narrow drawer in your refrigerators that's probably the best place to put them as long as they're not easily perishable again remember that 
this is where all the magic happens for me with this fridge. I feel like this drawer just gives me so much more storage space to where I'm not even using the typical spots that a refrigerator carries for those things like this lunch packing stuff for my son. He keeps his meat and cheese in there and he knows where he can go grab everything to pack his lunch every single day. I like to use clear topped containers for this drawer so that when I'm looking down into the drawer from this vantage point, I can still see exactly what I have. And you can write the little dates on these containers as well, which are of course linked in my Amazon storefront. Um, and I absolutely love them. They keep everything fresh. They can still stack together. I can pile up a ton of stuff in these drawers, but I can still see every single thing that I have in here as long as I keep these types of containers or boxes um, readily available for me to use. And here's a drawer completely empty so I can show you how you can um, adjust the different compartments. It's like a really smooth glide system so that you can move these things side to side. I've left them wide open to store like prepped foods. And I also like to do this where I just put the rails in the middle and kind of use my boxes to tell me exactly how I should um, set it up. It's kind of like playing Tetris with your refrigerator. And I love this drawer so much for like prepping like I said you can adjust the temperature and keep like all of your prep charcuterie or drinks or whatever you need to the perfect temperature it's truly taken like all of the stress out of prepping for you know events that you're hosting in advance without worrying about where you're going to store all the food and the prep stuff so the freezer on this refrigerator is pretty great. I love this middle drawer. It's like a flat, it's meant for pizza boxes and stuff like that. I don't use um, my indoor freezer for the typical stuff. I have an upright freezer in the garage. So this is mostly where I put like prepped foods and convenience foods, you know, treats and stuff like that. I do have a little bit of a system. Basically, this is where I go for like those convenience grabs, the prep food that I've frozen, leftovers that I've frozen, frozen breads, tortillas, and stuff like that. But again, I definitely think that you could use this freezer for traditional storage needs. Um, I would probably use this bottom compartment, which does have that sliding divider for like meats and seafood. And I'd probably put like prepared on one side and fresh on the other, and then store the other things that I have in those two drawers above in the same way, pretty much. also say we did look at other refrigerator lines. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you will know that I am primarily biased to rose gold kitchen items, but my wife would not let me decide on a refrigerator solely for that feature. Yes, we have that feature in this fridge. This is the one we went with, but we considered many other refrigerators. So I don't want you to think that this review is biased at all. It's not. Um, I truly do love this refrigerator. And after using it for a year, I can truly say that there is only one thing that I cannot stand about this refrigerator, and that is the water dispenser. All right, so um, auto fill, it's kind of tall enough for like tall bottles, but it's not like the super tall one where you could fill up really tall bottles of things that I've seen some refrigerators have. It does have the auto fill water feature, and it counts in ounces for you, so I'll let you look at that. So that is how it uses the autofill feature. And I low-key wish it did that for ice, but my problem is not any of that, it's this button. So we have to push this so hard because the minute you like release pressure, like you can't tell because you're not pushing it with me, but I almost have to like shove the glass and keep it pressed really hard against the trigger for it to work. And that's for water, that's for ice, for anything. So it's very frustrating. That's the only thing I do not like about the water part. Everything else about it has been amazing. Um, the space, the shelving, now that I've been able to play around with different ways to use the shelves, uh, the storage, absolutely amazing. The only thing I do not like is a water dispenser. But other than that, this has been a great purchase. I think that it's been worth our every penny that we spent for it. And it was a whole lot of pennies, but it was worth it. Um, one more thing that we did not find out until after we got the refrigerator was 
how to buy the filters. You have to buy the very specific filters for this refrigerator. It can't be like a filter that could work for a different GE or a different cafe. It has to be very specific to your fridge or will not work. Um, we did end up finding them. There's just no shortcut, no trick, no um, other version, no other store. We can find it. We have to get the one that goes with our refrigerator. They're a little pricey, but that's just the cost of having your own appliances. So that is my overall review of the fridge as well as, you know, breaking down of some of the specs. Comment down below, let me know if you were watching this video more for organization tips or for the fridge review. And of course I'll have all the items that I use to organize this refrigerator in my Amazon storefront. I'll be sharing my organization tips for other areas in my kitchen really soon. So I really hope that you consider subscribing to my channel. I would love for you to become a part of my YouTube family. And of course, if you like this video, please hit the like button and the notification bell so that you will know when I post the next one. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.